Hello, my gorgeous peeps in my universal world of peeps. As the days get shorter and the light, the nights get <laughs> longer, and we want to cozy and snuggle up, but you ain't got a whole lot of time to be cooking a whole big meal. Why not do some soup? Yes. I thought, you know what? We just had a look through. I got quite a few soup recipes out there. So I thought, why not do a Mama Go Soupy Week? We're going to have a Soupy Week. Soupy. A Soupy, Soupy, Soupy Week for the winter months, okay? Now, this is great for the holidays. Um, I'm actually catering an event. It's called an appreciation event for members of my local church. And they've asked me to cater kind of like a festive meal for them. And the starter is going to be a butternut squash and sweet potato soup. Have a look at my table. Those are my ingredients. So while you're looking at that, I will take my quick photo as I do. Great. Of all my raw ingredients. Okay, let me just tell you what you've got. You've got butternut um, squash, cubed sweet potato, a bunch of oh, coriander, I I lift the camera. <laughs> coriander, some celery, and some onions. Oh, and there's bay leaves down there. And then we've got some bay leaves, some cumin, some salt, and of course, mama's love dust, baby. Yeah. Hey y'all, and why don't you go on to our web, no, wait a minute, why don't we just stop right now and hit that notification button, join our channel, we need you more than ever, we need you, come and join the family. And then, head to the website. Then go to the <laughs> website and order you some, um, oh, okay, love dust, love dust, okay, I've got my pot on, I've just washed it out, just a little bit of water just there at the bottom, so, first thing first. We're going to get some olive. Actually, if you look here, this is some olive oil that I have been marinating some um, garlic in. So this is like garlic. It is really garlicky. So this is our garlic olive oil. So I'm going to just put some of that. So did you literally just put some whole I just put cloves? whole cloves in it and just leave it. And how um, long can you leave it for? Oh, about a year. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, these. this is the garlic itself. It just goes really soft. Lovely. And I'm going to throw these in because this whole soup is going to be blitzed anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw those in. I'm going to throw some celery, which is a really good base to soups. But it is an allergen, so some people are allergic, so be careful. Make sure you check. Um, no one on my list said they were allergic to celery, so they're getting celery in this soup. And if at the last minute they say they are... They can't have the soup. They can't have the soup. But you know what? I'm going to quickly take me some butternut squash and what's it called? And I could quickly blend it all together. I can make another quick soup for them if I have to. So now I'm going to take these onions and I'm going to add those. Season this pot. I'm going to bring it over to you. Okay. So you can have a look. Okay, so... So that's my just my onions, my celery. Oh, and you can smell that garlic. Oh, yeah, now look at that. So let's just put that back on. Then I'm going to add to it some salt. Now a lot of times when I make my soups. I tend to roast my vegetables and then puree them. But this one, I'm actually going to start these ones from raw. Now, these are quite big. So I'm going to cut these down a little bit. But while I'm cutting those down, we're going to add these sweet potatoes straight into the pot like this. No stock. And let's give these a stir. Mix in those onions. Oh, wow. Gosh, I've just got a hit of the... Aromas as you stirred it. Yep. Yeah, so That's lovely. Just leave that. I'm going to cut these down a little bit more. So should we come back in a sec? And we'll come back to you once I get these cut down. Add them in because just going to let you know what I'm doing is I'm kind of like dry roasting these on top of the steak. So just kind of sealing them before I put any stock into it. 
So I really want these kind of catch it almost and just give me that flavor. So we'll come back to you in a minute. Now, normally I will have um, some kind of a stock reserved. I don't. So I've just got some plain water here. And to that, I'm just going to add two stock cubes. And I'm going to let that just come to a boil. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let it come to a boil before I add it to my soup. So let me just put this in to the water. Oh, let's get another one in. And while that camera is on, hold on, I'm going to, I can hear it sizzling, so I'm going to stir this. Yeah. This going to be a big pot of soup. So, come back to you in a minute. Okay, guys, have a look at here. What I've done is I've made a well, and I'm going to add some olive oil. And to that... I am going to toast off some cumin seeds. So let's just put quite a bit. It's a big soup. So let's just leave that. Look at that. Yeah. Straight away. And now let's just mix that in. Okay. So now we're going to add straight to the pot our butternut still a few big pieces and we'll just grab those out cut these up now another big <laughs> stir This is going to feed 60 people easy. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it is. It is. I mean, it's soup. Okay, now, to that, I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. And now, oh, let's get some salt. Stop going. And I need to get some more water. Do it. No. Right. I need to. You move out of the way. Mm -hmm. We really need is going to take because this is a big pot yeah. you know if i were doing this in a fast cooker yeah but it'd be quick but i'm doing this the old-fashioned way and my mama would have done it so approximately how long do you think it's oh this is going to take about an hour to really boil down properly get yeah. those flavors going and then i'll look at it and see if it needs any additional seasoning i think it's going to need a little bit of chili flakes but mm -hmm. i'm going to put those in towards the end and uh, then the coriander, but the coriander goes in at the very last minute. Once I've blitzed it, mm -hmm. then I add that coriander so I can retain that freshness. Okay. All right. So we'll come back to you when in about an hour when this bad boy has bubbled up, cooked up, and melted down. It won't be an hour because we're just going to edit it straight in. But it's going to be like yeah. the next second. But no, but it's going to be, a, but y'all need to know it's an hour before know, your know. next step. I know. Is I know. what I'm saying. I know. I know. Okay. All right. It's it's beginning to look a lot like soup time everywhere I go. Look at here, look at here. Nice. Let me just show you guys how. This is how you know when you're getting there. Knife goes straight through. Okay. So 
this stage, I'm going to now pick out my um, bay leaves because we're not going to uh, blend those up. I know I put a few in here. Let me find them. <laughs> where? There we okay. go. Oh, where is the oh, bay leaf? Is that one on, on the hand one? It's gone. There was one on the hand with the spoon. There we go. Yeah, that was it. Oh, that little tiny thing. <laughs> okay. There's another little tiny one. So now, I'm going to add my coriander. And I'm also, where is my chili, chili, chili? Let me look over here. Chili plates? Yeah. I've got my, hold up. Move. I got things organized. Oh, sorry. Now, let me see here. Thai selling spice might be nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. So, we got some chipotle. Just a few. Put those on. Again, yes, people, I've been doing some organizing. I had to. My place was a hot mess. So let's just stir these in. Now I'm going to turn this off. Now, I'm going to blend this down now, test it. To see if I feel it needs a little bit more richness. By richness, now I'm trying to keep this 100% vegan. So if you notice, I put no butter, no cream, no nada. So if it needs anything, it will be coconut milk, okay? That's what I will be using. I may not need it because what I might then do is do the soup, make up the coconut milk, and then just put like a drizzle of that on the top of the soup. So now let me get my blender. And come back to you. Remember the industrial one we used to have at the restaurant? Oh my god, yes, <laughs> that was a proper blender. Okay, so now the thing is, this is quite hot, so you do have to be careful. So you and what I want to do is just kind of just go in and then I press down. Oh, some people might love the sound of that. It's one of those kind of noises. Mm. ASMR, ASMR. Yeah, people <laughs> like that kind of noise. <laughs> I was getting too into it. <laughs> we'll come back to you so I don't go splashing it all up in my face, getting all up there in my pot. <laughs> Alright, so our soup is truly blended. That looks really good. Mm. Look at that. Nice and hearty. Um, and it's actually thick enough that I, if I have to add a little bit more stock, I can. Now, what I need to do is I need to be... Hopefully that is going to give me 70 portions. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, but what I want to do right now is just for... Just kind of like a quick kind of a measurement, just so I can get an idea. I'm going to do, to see what one ladle. So I think a ladle and a touch is going to be enough. Yeah, um, it's a starter. It's a starter. I mean, and it could even be in a smaller, I, I, I don't know the size. So that's a ladle and a touch. Oh, you easily. I think I've got easily. So way I'm going to do this is so I'm going to go. That's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, if you look at that, that's ten portions. If you look at this, that took it down an inch. Oh, easily. So, that's my ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Excellent. That'll do it. So, guys. Oh, no, we can't do that without to taste it. tasting it. Let's see. Because it might need a little bit more salt. Wow. The garlic comes through. The garlic really comes through. Oh, wow. It's very strong, but it's, but it's, it's nice. It's strong, but it's nice. That is nice. It's really nice. Um, I think it could take a touch of um, salt, just a touch. Just a tiny touch. Tiny bit but of... But it's nice with that garlic. But it's nice with the garlic mm. roast, and it's like a roasted... Yeah, yeah. ...garlic leaf flavor. Let's put some of that. So let's put this back in. Yeah, it's delicious, Mom. I think that's pretty good. It is, it's yummy. Really simple. And once it sits and builds. And, it, and the flavour is going to really build. Yeah. Let me stir that, stir that down. Mmm. Yeah, let me see. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's lovely. It's really nice. 100% vegan. Mm -hmm. Got a little hit at the back of your throat. Just a tiny thing. Just Oh, that's really nice. So, guys, with a little bit of peace, whole lot of soul for Mama and Cat. Have a wonderful soupy week. <laughs> Bye.